What's up you guys? Welcome back to RC Overload. Oh, today actually turned out really nice. This morning when I got up, it was foggy, it was cold, damp, miserable. I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to make the video today. So today, I'm down here at Joshua's Pond here. Uh, I figured I would try out the Atomic Barbed Wire 2 that I have yet to even drive. <laughs> Had that thing sitting on the shelf for a few months now, waiting to be taken out to a lake, a pond, whatever. And today, I am finally gonna get around to doing it. However, the pond that I decided to go to is flooded. Yeah, it's flooded. The amount of rain that we have had this year is insane. Take a look at this. So this is Joshua's Pond. It's one of the many ponds where I live. And as you guys can see, taking a look down here, there is no beach. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys where I used to go fishing all the time when I used to come down here. Now when I turn this around, look straight down. That's exactly where I used to fish. All of that right there is where I used to go fishing. So if you guys take a look right down here, you can actually see where the beach part of it is, kind of whereabouts my finger is at. Just give you a little tour there. All of that used to be beach, you know, walk on it and so forth. But it has, it has definitely come up some. <laughs> That's for sure. So, yeah. That's definitely going to make things interesting today, although that's not going to stop me from trying to uh, make some sort of video with the Atomic Barbed Wire too. If you guys want to know more about this boat here when I take it out, you guys can check out the link in the description, or I think it's going to be right here or right here. I, I don't know. it will put a little link there for you guys so you guys can check out the unboxing and everything else. So let's get down here, unpack, and get this thing Ready to go. All right, so. Let's see if I can get this thing out. The cool part about this boat is it fits right into my backpack here. Look at that. Just, like it was nothing. All right, so we got the stand, we got the boat. Put that there. We got our controller. And unlike last time, we got batteries that actually work. <laughs> My batteries. Now for those of you guys that are curious, I've got three of these to run today. They are 1300 3S LiPo batteries. Focus in on that, there we go. Small little guys. I'm not sure the exact runtime. I want to say it's probably between five to eight minutes, I think. But uh, we'll uh, see what we can kind of come up with anyways. Now, I don't know about you guys, but one of the biggest fears I have with driving boats is if something happens out here with the boat, I have no way of getting it. And this water is way too cold for me to go swimming and I got nothing to dry myself off with. So, if something happens out there, it is now property of Joshua's Pond. Just praying to God that doesn't happen. Go time. Very, very sensitive. So I'm gonna try to see if I can make some adjustments here. Uh, one thing I noticed is that because the battery is on the left side of the boat, the whole thing likes to lean to that side. So it actually makes turning left a lot sharper than turning right. Um, but I'm gonna try to dial everything in here real quick, do some test passes, and we'll go out and have a little bit more fun.
lost them. All right, guys, well, that pretty much does it for me today. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was actually a lot of fun once I got the hang of it. Most of it, it wasn't so much tuning. I mean, there was some steering adjustments I needed to fine tune and stuff like that. Uh, and positioning the battery forward a little more definitely helped with that. Uh, but a lot of it just came down to practicing driving it and operating it. Um, you know, just easier in the corners and stuff like that. It's a very sensitive boat, but overall, it's a very easy boat to drive at the same time. So, pretty excited about it. Best part about it is, is when I'm out scale crawling, doing whatever in the woods, if I happen to stumble upon a pond or something like that, I can just pull it out of my backpack here, boom, throw it in the lake, and off we go, adding another little adventure to the day. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of corny. <laughs> All right, guys, till next time, I'll see you on the next RC Overload. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, hit the like button, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. See you guys later.